Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Justin. It's Saturday. That means we're back at the movies for another review. And I got to thinking, you know, we're getting closer and closer to the summer months. And this year's lineup of movies is insane. It's like almost every single week from now with the release of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania until the end of July, there's at least one movie coming out that I have, I want to see. Will I see them all? I don't know. We'll play that by ear. But the movie that I'm probably, one of the movies I'm most looking forward to, end of J June, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I cannot wait for this movie. I love the Indiana Jones franchise. And I thought, what better way to what what better thing than to review the first Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, 1981, Steven Spielberg directed, starring Harrison Ford, Karen Allen, John Reese Davies. It's a classic. Now, it is not my favorite Indiana Jones film. That is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, but. You know, like my like other franchises, like A Nightmare on Elm Street, even though I love the third one more, I understand how important the original is, and this one's no different. You, we are introduced to the iconic Harry Jones Jr., Indiana Jones is his nickname, Harrison Ford. And Harrison Ford is awesome. He has been awesome f forever. Going back to American Graffiti, Han Solo, Indiana Jones. Then he goes, as he gets older, he starts doing movies like Clear and Present Danger, Air Force One, The Fugitive. He's such a phenomenal actor. What Lies Beneath? He can do any genre. And he's so entertaining. He's such a badass. And Indiana Jones is no different. I mean, the guy's an archaeologist. He's a professor. He's a treasure hunter. He's just, and he's a stud. You know, he walks around very much like a more rugged James Bond. You know, smart, thinks on his feet, gets the woman. I mean, every single, every single Indiana Jones movie up until, well, the first three anyways, he gets movie stars. He gets... You know, these gorgeous German spies. He's got Marion Ravenwood, played by Karen Allen, who, yeah, you know, like a James Bond, you know, he's going to get his face slapped occasionally. But in the end, they all come back to, they all come back to him. He, he's just got this persona about him. And it's such a fun movie. For those of you who haven't seen it, you know, it's pretty simple. He's a treasure seeker. He goes off and he finds these treasures. And now he's tasked with finding the Ark of the Covenant. You know, he has to get it before it gets into the hands of the Nazis, Nazi Germany. Even though the Nazis haven't risen completely to power by this point, everybody knows they're growing. And if they get this power, they'll be unstoppable. You know, but he needs the help of his friends. Sala, played by John Reese davies Marion Ravenwood, his former lover, you know, played fantastically by Karen Allen. They're, they're just, their dynamic is so good together. And it does culminate, obviously, in, you know, them finding it, the Germans finding it, Her Indiana Jones knowing the right thing to do. They're, they don't. And the, uh, who can forget the iconic face-melting scene? And that's the great thing about Indiana Jones movies is they've always got this iconic death scene, whether it's face-meltings, whether it's drinking from a cup and then just disintegrating, you know, human sacrifices. It's just such a fun franchise. You don't take it seriously. But you enjoy every single step of the way. And it's such an iconic movie. And you know, I don't really have much more I have to say about it than that. Harrison Ford's awesome. Indiana Jones is awesome. I can't wait for Dial of the Destiny to come out in the end of June. 
Raiders of the Lost Ark, to me, Steven Spielberg's best role, best, you know, movies as a director have to, you know, these have to be a part of that conversation. You know, obviously, Saving Private Ryan, you know, Jaws, those movies, of course, those are going to get uh, in the same conversation, but you can't leave out Indiana Jones. It's an iconic franchise. It'll be sad when it's over, but I think it should be over with Harrison Ford. I don't want to see another Indiana Jones after him. It'll be hard. It's not like a Batman or anything like that where somebody else can play him and then, all right, the next guy can play him and I'll be interested. I can't see that happening. But for all intents and purposes, we'll see what happens there. Got to give a score, right? Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's a classic in every sense of the word. It's not my favorite in the franchise, but I'm still going to give it an 8.8. I think it deserves it. It's an it's truly a great movie. It fringe all-time great movie. You know, certainly would be in my top 100, but doesn't quite hit the nines, but hell 8.8 is a pretty damn high score, if you ask me. It's one of the highest scores I've ever given on the channel. That's my review. 1981's Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. I cannot wait for this summer. One last ride with Indy. I hope you like this review. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next time at the movies. Take care.